Yo yo everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well. And we are back with some more Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, of course, with the new uh, DLC. The Trunks uh, Warrior of Hope DLC, number three. It's been out for more than a month already. I could have covered it a long time ago. I just took a little break from the channel and just trying to take it easy, you know, just living life, you know, like I, I like doing YouTube. I like making videos. It is a fun hobby. I'm glad people do enjoy the stuff that I make. Just sometimes you just need to focus more on yourself so that way you can go ahead and do things that you want to do better. So if y'all understand, know, know what I mean, know where I'm coming from, then you know, that's why I decided to take a break for a while and might do it again. I'm gonna try to make a few more uploads on some Dragon Ball Z Kakarot and Raging Blast 2. I might throw some Xenoverse 2 in there. We'll have to see. Not too sure about that. Call of Duty. I'm pretty much done with that game. I put so much money into it, so much time, effort for me not to really get any anything back. I mean, I'll still play. I might make a few videos here and there. But other than that, I mean, I'm pretty much just, just done with the game. I don't even want to purchase the new uh, Season Battle Pass for the Season 4. I don't want to go in there and get anything from the store. Just anything like that because Activision, that company, I don't know. They just, in my opinion, they don't deserve it. They don't deserve uh, half of their player base. You know, they've screwed over a lot of players. Honestly, I like, I know this video is Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, but I'm just going to kind of be rambling on and talking about different subjects, different things, and stuff that's kind of on my mind, stuff I've been going through, things that are bothering me right now, and with Call of Duty, I mean, I just have to call it quits on that game. There's too many damn PC players, there's too many hackers. Too many people using Cronus Max, Cronus Zen, you know, Sticky Aim Assist, Wall Hacks, and it's just that it's not worth it. It's not worth it. I mean, if the players who play like that, they're having fun with it, then I guess they, they can have it. They can have Call of Duty just like all the hackers and everyone else had Red Dead. I mean, that game, I gave up on that one just for the same situation. I put a lot of money into the game, I, you know, trying to make content on it, and just, the hackers took over, you know, so I just, I let them have the game. There wasn't much I can do. I mean, when it's 1v10, you're still getting kills on them, you know, but they're there using stuff against you, I mean, that's kind of, kind of whack, right? I mean, I don't know, like, who wants to stay playing the game like that? And same thing with Call of Duty, pretty much. I mean, it's, it's getting whack right now. I mean, I just, I don't want to stay playing it just because of the whole situation that's going on right now. Then, supposedly, they're already advertising cheats for the new Halo that's going to be coming out. The new Halo Infinite. The new Battlefield. If that shit really happens with the new Halo, ah, oh man, I'm just, I'm going to be so pissed off. I'm probably going to make a video on it. Go into some real detail and my bad I'm standing outside it's kind of windy out here yeah I had to do some of my recording out here y'all don't mind but um I mean if Microsoft you know whoever's uh, I, I forget the makers of Halo y'all know then I know who I'm talking about if they can't make a, a decent anti-cheat for the new Halo, like, just to show these other companies, like, like, we can do it, you know, like, if there's people cheating in Halo day one on, on release, ah, oh, man, I'm just, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna be pretty pissed off, I'm gonna tell you that. Be pretty pissed off, I'm probably gonna make a video where I'm just pretty much just raging and cussing the whole time, which is something I don't wanna do. 
but I will if I have to. Um, I do have plans for the channel. I know it's a gaming channel. There are other things I would like to cover that I that I am into. Um, I do like firearms, for example. Well, for one, not just an example, but you know, I've always been real into firearms. I've owned a few in the past, you know, just went ahead and sold them, let them go. And as of recently, I had got myself into some trouble due to some other reasons. But everything is fine now. You know, I'm, I'm done with all that. I don't have to deal with any of that no more and hopefully never again. So you know, I'm trying to live my life better and do better and... You know, I just I don't want to have to be dealing with no trouble, no anything like that, you know, so hopefully everything just stays getting better. But that being said, you know, I would like to make some videos on a couple firearms. You know, I do have a couple myself right now. I plan to get more in the future. I wish I would have never sold what I had in the past. Um, like right now I have a Glock 17 Generation 3. I went ahead and got a upgraded barrel on it. I do need to order the the steel guide rod on it. I was going to get an aftermarket trigger. But the trigger I have on there is really, really nice. And if something ain't broke, don't fix it. So I don't want to go and replace the trigger. And I don't end up liking that trigger. And I like my old one better. I go and put it back and then it's not the same. Know what I mean? So I don't want to go and mess something up that's not not broke. You know, like it, it's working perfectly fine the way it is now. So I'm just, I'm, I'm leaving that. And I also have my uh, Glock 19X. Um, something between like a Gen 4 and a Gen 5. It was the military, the U.S. military contract reject gun. Um... It was the Sig Sauer that won, the M17, that had won the military contract, just because it was the cheaper firearm. So, in my opinion, honestly, that's all fine and good, because the civilians, you know, now we get to carry the 19X. So, it all worked out, in all honesty. But, one of the reasons why I kind of don't want to start making videos on firearms and stuff is because YouTube isn't all too, too friendly. With that kind of stuff. I mean they'll take away channel monetization and and everything. So that's like one reason why I really don't want to start making videos like that. I hope that's not the case. I mean it's YouTube right? You should just be able to make videos on certain things that you like. I mean as long as you're within your rights. You're legal and don't have nothing to worry about. I mean it, it should be fine right? Actually, I mean I would think so. I mean, a lot of people don't know this, but when I started making YouTube videos, I used to, it, my channel actually used to be a growing channel. You know, I, that's what I used, that's what I still do. I, I grow, you know, and we're legal here in the state of New Mexico now. Um, prior to that, you know, just having to work with licensing, you know, and people they just they they can go and get their medical license and be allowed to grow up to a certain amount you know whatever within the the limits restrictions whatever but now you know like the whole state is legal and i know in other states where it was legal people have started them youtube channels which it's like same thing like with the firearm channel just youtube doesn't really kind of condone those types of videos i guess firearms and growing videos talking explaining on how to do certain things you know so it's like i want to make videos like that too you know showing firearms and talking about what i do and showing people teaching them how to grow and stuff and i just i don't know if i should start a second channel for that if i should do it on this one because i don't want to screw over kind of what i got going now because this channel it's starting to look pretty good. You know, I've been trying. I've been trying to put out some videos I'm pretty sure y'all can enjoy. I am thankful for everyone who has subbed to the channel so far. Where, yeah, my bad. Get all tongue-tied, tongue-twisted. 
We are currently sitting at 150 subscribers. And, ah, man, I like, I never thought we were going to hit this point. I remember whenever channel was like sitting like at 30, 50 subs, wasn't really growing. You know, I never thought I was going to hit 100. You know, finally did. And... I mean, now we're sitting at 150. I mean, so here pretty soon, you know, hopefully we can hit 300. You know, that that's the goal. The sub goal before the end of the year is 500. I mean, if we can get close to that, that's fine and good. I'll be extremely happy. But, I mean, if we can pass that, I mean, you know, this channel, it, hopefully it can do good. Hopefully it can take off. I mean... I try to put videos out that I think people would enjoy. Some videos just never did good at all. Um, I never wanted this channel to be like a one thing channel, you know? So like how I started it with Red Dead, yeah. You know, I should have started my channel a lot sooner, like years sooner. But whenever I did, I started it with Red Dead, but I never wanted to stick to just one game. You know, I wanted to play variety, variety games because, me, yeah, I just, I love to play shooting games, racing games, fighting games. There, you know, there's just certain things that I'm into personally, you know, that, that I want to be able to show, you know, like, hey, I can play these games, you know, I'm pretty, pretty decent, so. I mean, I play on console. No, I'm not playing on PC. I mean, if you play on PC, you have the money for it, you know, that's what's up. You know, I'm happy for you. you know, I can imagine, like, because I see the difference between a console player and a PC player. And I can only imagine if I were to be playing on PC with higher frame rate and all that, you know. So, I mean, if it's going to help your, your gameplay that much, then I can see why a lot of people do it. Especially for a YouTube channel. Um... I guess I'll always just be a console player at heart. But if I ever do want this channel to truly succeed and be able to take off and stuff, then eventually I'm going to have to to get some type of PC. So, so much in this. Hopefully, maybe one of these days that, that can be the case right there. Yeah, this video, it's a little bit of a long one. It's just some, some side quests, side missions, just running around, playing. Um, if y'all enjoy these types of videos, please let me know. If you don't, then I'll just do my best to just stop, you know, just regular, regular gameplay, no commentary, no anything. Um, to be honest, I'm not too sure how much longer Dragon Ball Z Kakarot is going to be relevant. I don't know if they're going to make another one, if they're going to keep coming out with content for this game. Like, I don't know. Sure. And Dragon Ball Z Fighters, I'm not, I'm not going to lie, I'm not good at that game. I like fighting games, but like Mortal Kombat and Tekken and shit, like I, I never excelled at those games. I was never like a, a beast, you know, like I could, I could play, I could do okay, but I'm not like, like really, really good, you know, like compared to some other games. Where, you know, I just, I won't deny if I'm good or not. Um, like, I'll play. You know, I could probably sit there for a day and try to learn, you know. I could try to maybe master a character, try to learn everything for that character. And maybe just after I learn, master one character, try to move on to another. But, um, yeah, just those types of games I'm not I'm not that good at. And fighters that you know that game set up like Mortal Kombat Tekken, it's that style of gameplay. So, you know, I could probably try to play it, but there's no guarantee that I would be great. You know, I know there's a lot of people out there who love those types of games and who are really, really good at those games. So, you know, I don't think I'd be able to show some stuff like that. But like when it comes to like racing games and other types of fighting games, uh, different Dragon Ball games, you know, I excel. You know, I do really, really good. And I can show some really, really cool stuff. But with certain games, I'm not gonna lie. You know, I'm just, I'm not the greatest. <laughs> I'm not gonna act like I am and I'm gonna try to be. 
there are certain games I enjoy, some I don't. The ones I enjoy, me personally, I'll put up some videos. Um, my girl, she loves to play too. You know, there are times where she'll, she likes to play other games. She's into other stuff too, so sometimes we'll upload a little bit of that stuff too. Or there's my brother, you know, like he's really, really good at games in general. Especially like Call of Duty, you know, it's probably like the first game he's ever owned, grew up playing. Uh, he's really, really good. You know, he can get down on some Call of Duty and stuff, so. You know, I would like to get some of their gameplay and be able to upload to the channel as well. Uh, I'm not too sure how much longer this game's gonna do good for. Uh, Call of Duty, I'm not not gonna bother with it no more uh the new battlefield i love battlefield you know i used to play a lot of battlefield i used to play a lot of battlefield 4 uh, a little bit of battlefield 1 my brother he's more of the battlefield player than me of course um he could tell you probably every little thing about it me personally i can't i could tell you a little bit on what i know but we just we just gotta wait and see, only time will tell on what these games are gonna do. I mean, I don't know if they're gonna stay adding content to Dragon Ball Z Kakarot uh, within the years to come. I mean, like, I don't know if they're gonna make a second one, if they're just gonna make a whole entire new Dragon Ball game, another RPG for everyone else to enjoy. So, I mean, like, if you look at GTA 5, for example, GTA 5 Online, Look at uh, how long that online mode has been around and how much content they're dumping into that game even to this day. Which, I don't mind. I mean, people who play that game certainly don't mind. Um, I know everyone's waiting for the new GTA to come out. I'm not sure what's going to happen with their accounts. Like, if they're just going to switch on over with their already progressed accounts to the new game. Or if they're going to have to start from scratch or what's going on there. Like, I just, I don't know. Um, it's never a bad thing to add content to uh, an older game if it's popular. I mean, especially if it's doing well. I don't see a problem with it. Um, yeah. But if this game happens to die out, I mean, I can try to cover other Dragon Ball games, of course. But like I say, I don't want this channel just to be revolving around one thing i want it to be you know i want to show multiple things and i want other videos to do well too so i know i need to put a lot more effort into my videos you know i need to show entire gameplays and let all the cutscenes play out and all that um i have a capture card but it's not the greatest i have a laptop and it's not the greatest you know but i do Managed to get by somewhat. Huh? But, um. Yeah. Uh, we're just gonna have to see where it goes from here, so. I mean, I don't. Personally, like me, I don't mind playing Dragon Ball games because I love the franchise, I love the show, I love the games, especially. Huh? So I don't mind it, but, like, I just. I don't want the channel to no be dedicated to one thing. But if that's how I'm going to get this channel to kind of take off, then I'm going to do what I have to do. But I'm going to try to, like, do uploads in between of other stuff. You know, I want to show, like, other gameplay, like Doom, Doom Eternal. Uh, I just got the smart delivery upgraded version for it because I had bought the, I guess, the old version, the Xbox One version or whatever. So Microsoft went ahead and updated my game because i bought it all uh digital i have a hard time saying that word for some reason digital digital and um now it got upgraded so i, I have the series x and s version of it of it now so that's pretty cool so i want to see the difference and how it looks now compared to then i mean honestly the game looked fine then even on the series s you play Doom Eternal on the Series S, that game looks freaking amazing. But I want to check it out and see how, see if there's any difference now. 
But yeah, we'll just have we'll have to wait and see. I don't know. Maybe I can find another game that a lot of people are gonna enjoy. Hopefully that'll be the case. Um, if y'all like this video, please let me know in the, down in the comments. Please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. If you want to see more videos like this, please let me know. Uh, I guess that's just going to about do it. Hope y'all have a good one. Stay safe. Be with your families. And I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace out.